finally, at last, here we go. We move on to the second or third Immortal Dungeon. The second Dark Guardian, a place known as Permafrost. Lovely, isn't it? Hope you have your flame lens, because that's the way I'm going to do this. Yeah. This... Oh, that's excusable, right? Ah, you don't know what I'm talking about yet. Let's see. <laughs> and yeah, we meet Sabata and he's talking about some kind of game. Sabata has one big plan that's bigger than everybody else in the story, and he's the only one that knows about it. Nobody else knows. Just Sabata. His big plan. Well, actually, there is one other person who knows, but we're going to meet that person later. Uh-huh, you'll see. Okay, now I, make this, now I have to make a decision. Left or right? Well, let me tell you, right is not the way you want to go. But I'm going to show you anyway. Let me equip this. And you're going to kill me. Yes, look. A new brand of golem. These guys are icy. But that doesn't necessarily mean they're tough. But they do have a pretty nasty attack if they see you from a distance. What is it? Well... It's just not nice, I'll tell you that much. There's a different kind of golem that can do the same thing, but that shows up a little later. They're not too far away, I don't think. Oh well. But for now... Yes, trap doors again. They've returned. Oh look, a solar barrier. Not that I'll be using that, of course. Now it's time to raid these holes for treasure, because one of these treasures is very nice, so you might actually want to come here, whether it's coming through here or leaving past here. Look, treasure chest, collect, on the hole, looky looky, ta-da, but I'm greedy, I don't want that chest over there too, so you're going to see me attempt to collect that chest while shooting these octopi or octopuses whichever you want to say if I'm correct both of those are grammatically correct I'm not entirely sure I think they are yeah I think I heard about that in sixth grade someone said something about that and how long ago was that? This is getting a little ridiculous. Anyway. See, I'm still running around out here trying to get this one chest. Was it worth it? I don't know, you tell me. Do you like flash grenades? You don't see me using them. Oh, excuse me, I'm kind of tired. Just a little, though. Okay, soon I'm going to discover I did not go the way I intended to go, but whatever. My usual route doesn't take me this way, and so you're going to see me turn around very soon. Why? Because in all the time I've played this game, I have never once done this here puzzle. I never looked up an answer for it, and never bothered to solve it myself, simply because the other way was that much easier. And if you leave through this way, the puzzle's already solved for you. Which I thought was very kind of them. So, you know, just. I just left to turn around. Turn around and leave. <sighs> really wasn't much point in staying. So, let's drop down a hole. And get out of here. Shoot the octopus. 
Dude is friend. And just for that quit, shoot him too. Okay, let's go. Golems are back. And look, a puddle at my feet. Because it's so cold outside. And there are actually bee puddles. Yeah, that's what happens with golems. If you can get two golems to run into each other, they'll do that. Even though I think you might have already seen that from way back in the forest. I don't remember. It's been a while. So yeah. This is pretty easy. That's okay. Of course, because this place is so easy, you are expected to do this one faster than Firetop Mountain, which is a bit of an annoyance if you really don't know what to do here. This place can get you stuck running circles for a long time if you don't know what to do. And of course I decided to just stop and kill these things. Yeah, even though notice all they do is throw rocks at you. However, they do something else if they if you're too close to them. You see, I keep going up to them di from a diagonal kind of stance. It's because if you approach them like that, they can't grab you. They can only grab in a kind of a next to them kind of thing. They can't grab diagonally. If they grab you, they will squeeze you and attempt to kill you. They will do this to anything that gets close to them. Yes, I do mean anything. Okay, this puzzle says 1 plus 1 equals... Which is naturally to And the, the octopi, octopus, whatever you want to call them. They'll do that to normal enemies and that will instantly kill them. Does the jangle instantly die from it? I've never been caught in it, so I don't know. Anyway, yeah, the next couple puzzles are going to be about math. Or at least numbers. But, before that, let's see the new ghoul. Chillbox. And they attack with Chillum. Ooh. Yes, if you didn't think, if you didn't know, fire would work very well against these guys. And come on, they're made out of ice. Or, or something like that. So, you know, I decided I'm gonna kill them all. Huh. There's only three in the room, so it's pretty easy killing. Two down, one to go. And there he is. Go, shoot in the back. <sighs> okay, in this room we have another solar barrier and a bunch of treasure chests. This is too good to be true. Well, you're right, it was. Just a little though. Look at all that treasure. That's amazing. Okay, let's go solve another puzzle. This one looks hard, but it's actually really easy. One space, 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 six. And then we have a 1, plus, equals, and 6. Well, I didn't figure this out for a, for a very long time. But, the answer is actually quite simple. So you how you have to do no actual math to solve this one. Yeah, the answer is that simple. Well, this part's almost over. So, see you in the next part. Till then, bye, peace, see y'all later.